All right, folks. Hi, this is Pete Friedman with CentralTrack.com. It is shortly after 6 o'clock, probably approaching 6.30. Yep, and uh, we are here at City Hall Plaza for the 11th straight day of police brutality protests in downtown Dallas. Uh, we are currently seeing a small gathering, maybe about, I don't know, 30 people thus far uh, for an event that was slated to start at 6 p.m., uh, people are still trickling in, it appears. This is unique in that this uh, event was organized by a young black woman uh, who have been a part of a number of organizations launching this. I know Not My Son is one, was responsible for organizing the protests in this exact location on Sunday? No, Saturday. Uh, pardon me, the days are kind of blurring a little bit together. Um, but this is uh, yet another ongoing demonstration. Interestingly, uh, Chief Hall at a public safety meeting today uh, at City Hall, or perhaps on Zoom, I'm not entirely sure, um, announced a couple of extended measures, including uh, beyond the already announced uh, duty to intervene initiative that she announced last week. This latest round of announcements says that officers will be required to announce before shooting and also that they will be uh geez I forget it's been it's been a long week guys you can visit centraltrack.com and our twitter feed for more information. Uh, things are just slowly kind of starting here, as you can see, there's a truck over there uh, promoting uh, free water. There's plenty of uh, water here as well. Uh, things are just getting underway. I am aware of at least one other demonstration going on tonight at 7 p.m. at uh, DPD HQ. That one is organized by Dominique Alexander and the Next Generation Action Network and is promoted as a memorial for George Floyd and a protest against police brutality. Uh, it should be said that I think there's a little bit, at least a little bit of healthy skepticism about that organization in the wake of their leading the event a week ago today that led to uh, the ambush on Large Marge uh, in which 674 Dallas sites were detained and frankly many more than that traumatized by being kettled, confined, and frankly assaulted by DPD and DPS officers. Uh, so in the wake of that, I think there's a healthy skepticism towards following that same organization. And we've also seen a number of organizations uh, kind of launch in the wake of that. So we're just kind of waiting for things to get underway here. Uh, that young woman in the shorts and shoulder satchel, I'm told, is the organizer. We might try to get a word with her here shortly. Let's go talk to Davy J. Let's talk to Davy J, who's been uh, our correspondent on the scene this week. Guys, this is Davy J. Davy, we are live. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Davy has been one of our uh, tireless correspondents for yeah. Central Track this week. Yeah, we out here, man. What do you know about this event today? I know that, I believe from, the, I know there was a march that kept going last night mm -hmm. after the, uh, the DFW, the, 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 the Dallas Elm, Deep Elm Brewery, it's a fair park. Yep. People broke off and kept marching. And tomorrow. kept coming so, back to City Hall. Yeah. Yeah, which is a long walk. So like 10 30 ish or so <laughs> yeah and, and then I, they went to uptown afterwards yeah. yeah and i think at the end of it uh people were just asking if when's the next one for tomorrow and this lady named shima who's over there she put it to, she put it together ad hoc from what i hear and just like yo let's do something today uh and that's pretty much all i know about this one so yeah we know there's another event at 7 p.m at dpd hq but i'm also aware of some other activity that's going to be going on here hi what's going on we're with the, we're, no it's okay we're, we're with central track uh you right. want to talk to the lady over there? I'm, I'm going to go talk to her right now. Oh, but, yeah. Hey, here you? I'm Pete with Central Track. Natalie. Nice to meet you, Natalie. Um, Natalie with sorry. the morning news. <laughs> uh, we'll let Natalie go first, and then we'll talk to her later. Uh, 
Davey, so uh, it seems like things, at least somewhat, in terms of tensions, have de-escalated some since Monday. Is that a fair estimation? I think that's pretty fair, man. Uh, I feel like my personal opinion is since before they lifted curfew, they were not going to antagonize anybody until after curfew because then they'll have justification. Uh, but even still, I did a couple marches in and out the curfew zone up until they released it, and cops haven't done, cops have come by and observe, but I haven't seen any direct action other than the one I was on Friday where people blocked the intersection and cops showed up, but there hasn't been any use of force to my knowledge in the ones I've been participating in. I think DPD is aware of the public relations disaster on their hand in the wake of Monday on the bridge, which has been a week since then. You were detained on the bridge. Yes, I was. What is uh, your... I mean, it's been a week. How do you feel about it? I mean, I definitely think it was a show of force. Uh, for me, talking to officers and the FBI and the stadies on the ground, it was pretty... FBI? The FBI was there. Yeah, I okay. talked to an FBI guy. And they brought the FBI in because they have mobile fingerprint scanners. Okay. And if you're not in the system, or if you don't have your ID but you're in the system, they can go ahead and pull you up. But FBI said it was peaceful. We weren't going to get arrested. DPD said we were going to get charged. And then, um, then didn't, yeah. That, and they didn't separate us. They were just zip-tying everybody willy-nilly, and they didn't separate people with no ID, ID or male or female. Yeah. And then there was kind of mass confusion. Yeah, so that operation didn't seem like it was going to... It didn't seem like they, they knew what the hell was going on either. All right, well, Davey, thank you for all the hard work you've done this week. This is the face behind the voice you've been hearing. Uh, so shout-out to Davey. I know I've been out. This is my fifth of 11th day out doing this. Davey's been at like... Six. I've stayed home three times since this all started. So this is your eighth day. Yeah. Yeoman's work, my man. Thank I you for all. It. Thank you thank, for everything you've been doing. Thanks, everybody. Excuse me. Are you are you Shima? I'm with uh, CentralTrack.com. We've been live streaming all this. We've been watching. We've been yeah? following you. Do, can I ask you a couple questions on camera? Sure. I'm live right now. Okay. So Shima, can you uh, uh, just identify yourself and tell us what's going on here today? Yes. So my name is Shima Kashaka. Uh, we... I'm just going to put this kind of in your face to make That's sure okay. we get you on, on camera with the audio. That's cool. Um, I am one of the protesters that have been out here this whole past week. Um, and over the course of the past week, we've I've been meeting people, we've been kind of sharing the same views, the same ideas, so we kind of just came together last night and decided to try and do one ourselves. Yeah. We haven't really been feeling um, the organized protests that have been... So you haven't been feeling? Right. Okay. We have not been just feeling that we haven't shared the same momentum, the same energy, and most of it the same views. So, so then what is the energy and view you hope to get across this evening? The energy and the views that I hope to get across this evening, my main thing is to not lose focus. A lot of the organizations, I'm not saying they don't need funding, they, of course they do, but I am seeing this more as an opportunity for a lot of, of the organizations to gain members, recognition, donations, whereas we're just here for the movement. We're so there is there is no organization behind this. This no. is just straight up. Yeah, everyone's people. Just, like I said, we're just here and we. So how did how did you get the word out? I know there um, was like some flyers. Yeah. So crazy thing is, um, last night whenever we were marching, um, the Dallas Magazine and he had a young woman yeah. that said that they um, make flyers and they'll be happy to make a flyer for me. Okay. Cool. Um, for today, so she literally made the flyer last night. And she said she sent it out, and so we hope for a good turnout. So, scheduled start at 6. What's kind of the plan? So, the plan is, well, we're trying to decide that right okay. now. We have some people that are actually working. Like I said, we're a collective yeah. thought group. So, the plan right now is at 7. We plan to um, discuss some things on how everyone kind of wants to move. Like I said, it's a collective thing. Um, I'm thinking we're going to head over to... Dallas Police Headquarters. Okay, because there is a demonstration there right, at 7 so as, well. Over there as well. Was so, it important that this was separate from that? Yes. Why, why is that? That it's important that it's important that this is separate from all of them. Okay. Simply because, like I said, the organizations kind of have their own agendas. Yeah. So the reason why we're here together and not with any of those organizations because our agenda is one thing. Black Lives Matter, police brutality needs to stop, the funding needs to be divided. All of that is it's literally it for us. We can I, no can I see what your shirt says? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, Shima, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, like, how old are you? Where? What part of town are you from? So, I am 24 years old. I am from Fort Worth, Texas, actually. Um, Do you stay in Dallas now? I actually don't stay in okay. Dallas now. The reason I decided Dallas is because I spend a lot of time out here. Um, 
since high school, I spend a lot of time out okay. here. A lot of my friends live out here, and I see a lot more issues here in Dallas than I do in Fort Worth and Arlington and other cities of the Metroplex. Um, the Dallas Police Department has some serious. You think more so than others? About. Yes, okay. definitely. Definitely <laughs> more than others that they have some things to work on. So if I can use my thoughts, my opinions, the, the things that I care about and the things people yeah. care about to, to ignite some sort of change in Dallas community, I'm, I'm here for it. That's can, I'm can, uh, so can I get your last name and where you went to high school or are you trying that not to? That information, not yet. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm being kind of Is there a way this. in which if people want to get more information about stuff you might be involved with, they can follow or anything like that? Um, that when I decide that, okay. um, I will okay. I'll You'll reach out. out. Okay, there. cool. But for right now, I'm, like I said, we're just kind of going with the flow cool. for right now. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. You're welcome. <laughs> how, 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 how many days have you been out? Uh, since Tuesday. So Every day since Tuesday? Every single day since Did Tuesday. Did you, Tuesday, because were you inspired in the wake of the bridge incident? Yes. Okay. That incident, and I'm glad you said that. Because okay. I, it's been a lot of light shed on that, and it's not that I don't want to shed light on that. Yeah. Um, I just want to focus more on the positive that's happened after that. Yeah. As a result of that, because a lot of people. What, like what? What? What are you seeing? The peaceful protests. Yeah. At Tuesday night, literally after Monday, yeah. Tuesday night, we were out here, we were protesting. There wasn't a single, a single arrest. Yeah. There wasn't a single injury. Literally after, people should have been a thousand times more angry. Uh huh. We circle back the next day, and we're here peacefully. Do you, do and every you think day that after we're peacefully. to what do you credit that? Is it people are acting differently? Is the DPD acting differently? I I'm, I'm being careful here. Sure, like sure. I said, I'm not too sure of all of this just yet, um, but I'm proud of the community. Okay. Super proud of the community because, like I said, I feel like they thought. We would have been a thousand times more angry, which we were. Yeah. But we reacted the complete opposite way of what I'm sure everyone assumed. Yeah. How we would react. Yeah. So you're so, proud. You're proud of the community. I'm proud of that. Cool. The Dallas police now, I feel like they're they're different because of that. Yeah. So your community has seen what you guys did and how we reacted to it. Yeah. So I don't feel that, well. They know that after that happens you can't keep the same tactics that you've been doing because we're no longer acting like that yeah and we just want to be heard so and i feel like they realize that now so what i mean there's been some like documentation out as far as like some demands i know that in defense of black lives dallas put out a list of 10 demands do you have any particular demands that you're hoping to be met um still still trying to get my thoughts together on okay. that like i said it's, it's a big it's a huge work in progress. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do. So I would just like more time for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I know that the defunding of the police is one of the top Defunding them? Ones. Yes. So given, so uh, kind of last question, because I know you got to no, talk to okay, people. Okay. Uh, the, uh, this is the 11th straight day of protests in Dallas dating back to last Friday, mm -hmm. two Fridays ago. Why is it important that people keep coming out? because so that everyone knows that this was not just a trend mm -hmm. we're not just out here because it looks cool yeah. we're not just out here because it's just what everyone's doing no we're out here and we're going to continue to be out here that's why it's important for people to keep coming yeah. to show that we're going to continue to be out here until we see some real changes being made this is not just a little fling for the week no we're going to keep going all right Shima, that's why it's important. thank you so much for your time and uh thank appreciate you, you. thank you all right, so you guys heard that. That was uh, Shima, the young woman who organized tonight's event. Uh, it is, I guess, approaching the 7 o'clock hour here at City Hall. We're going to wait to see what happens. Again, there's, as Shima noted, there's a uh, demonstration happening also at uh, DPDHQ this evening uh, at 7 o'clock, and it's possible that this one might go check out that one but it's also uh important as you heard from shima and the other organizers of this event that the uh the people here are not are kind of intentionally not aligning themselves with the organization uh behind that one so we're just gonna kind of hang out here for a minute maybe talk to a few more people uh and wait to see exactly what the next step is I would say this is a very young crowd. 
That looks like Shima's about to address the crowd. Shima's now kind of repeating what she just told us, which is that she feels it's important that this is uh, separate from other organizations. She is 24 years old, and this is the first time she's organized something like this. She's saying at some point this uh, demonstration will march and chant No Justice, No Peace through Uptown. She just confirmed that this group will be marching toward uh, Dallas Police Headquarters to just scope out the scene over there, which I'm excited about because I wanted to do as well. I think it's important to just say that this uh, group is just kind of a ad hoc uh, gathering of like-minded peaceful-minded demonstrators. I'd say at this point we're approaching 50. She's reminding people to grab some water. With very little experience, I think this is a pleasingly organized event. If you have not made it out to these and you plan on coming out to these, dehydration is real. Uh, It is very important to stay hydrated throughout all this. If you are marching, it is hot out here. About 20 degrees hotter in the sun than in the shade. So... uh, Hydration is of the utmost importance. I know I yesterday had a headache all day long uh, from just like continued dehydration. And I don't know that I've drank as much water in the last week or so as I have. I don't know if I've, in my previous life if I've drank as much water as I have in the last week or so. So uh, even so, even through intentional effort, you kind of want to just drink more and more and more. But I think that's something that most native Dallas sites know at this point, considering uh, how hellish it can get here in July and August. So right now, yeah, people are gearing up to water up and then head uh, DPD HQ way. Thank you for watching. If you support this coverage, please visit centraltrack.com slash help or patreon.com slash centraltrack. We should be going for a while. I've got three backup batteries on me today, so we're getting in our steps today. I think it's also important to note that uh, even with all the water bottles and everything, I think people have done a very good job of cleaning up after themselves and putting things into the trash.
So we have water, we have Gatorade, we have snacks, we have fruit. I mean, if, okay, you guys, some people are saying wait, some people are saying we're ready to go, so let's vote on it. Y'all ready to go? Yeah! All right, no waiting. We are on the move. <laughs> and heading into the sun. A bike. Looks like they're going to try to stay in the shade as long as possible, which is a welcome. <laughs> welcome move. Dave, you want to walk with? Is anyone sticking behind with this stuff? No. <laughs> well, maybe it'll be here for tomorrow. All right, so the group has grown. I'd say we're at about 70. No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! Now! Justice! Now! Nobody's watching it. I asked you. Okay. Hey, baby Yoda. I like that one. Just reading this all right, they're taking to the actual street. Entering the street. Oh my God. This is a very young crew. Definitely twenties. Crowd now chanting, "We are the revolution." I saw at least one person with their bag marked with medic. Got people walking by or driving by. A person has supplies and a sign. This man has bought them Jean on the back of his backpack. I'm gonna try to catch up a little bit to the group. Looks like it's a random car back there. Looks like this guy on the bike has been trying to stop traffic as intersections approach.
catching up right now. Excuse me. guy running up to ask that they slow the pace some. As our coverage is repeatedly said all week long when cars drop out, pass by and honk, uh, definitely ups the morale. Tupac changes. Hopefully that audio doesn't cut out the stream. It's like uh, they're slowing now to allow people to catch up some. Looks like they're trying to shut down this intersection. Whew. It's a hot one tonight. They're making a big circle. The intersection. George Floyd. I am, yeah. I'm George Floyd. Oh, hey, Stephen, what's up, man? Black Lives Matter. So this is uh, the same intersection. Black Lives Matter. Young and Griffin. This has been kind Black of a flashpoint area throughout all this. <laughs> it's like this shutdown is done, but the uh, yeah, earlier on in the week, two Fridays ago, this is where police first clashed with. Protesters. Looks like we're going down Griffin or Lamar. That's TBD. Looks like we're going down Griffin. George Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor. to hear this and watching this great matter. exercise.
<laughs> all right, so not, not, not all chants are. So yeah. We're not chanting Black Lives Matter. Blue Lives Murder. Contingent of cars. Crowd now chanting defund DPD. I want to point out our cars behind. Oh, you can see that. One chant leader goes as long as they can and then someone takes over. There's a helicopter. We've seen those all week. It is hovering above DPDHQ, which is where this is headed. Crowd now chanting, take your knee off my neck. Now I can't breathe. This is absolutely one of the hotter nights. Fortunately, so long as this stuff continues, the forecast calls for cooler nights in the nights to come. I think the speed has slowed some as already tire sets in.
<laughs> the helicopter has discovered this group. And which is now crossing over 30 at Griffin. People are moving to the edge of the overpass to share their signs with those driving by. Cars honking by. Cars on the highway honking along. Not a ton, but a few honks. And again, the man in the bike stopping traffic. Destination here is DPD HQ, where a Next Generation Action Network organized a memorial for George Floyd and protests against police brutality has, we believe, just recently kicked off at 7 o'clock. No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace. No peace. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Justice now. Shut it down. Shut it down. Justice now. Shut it down. Shut it down. These are the South Side Flat Apartments. That is where Bothman John was murdered by former DPD officer Amber Geiger. We've got an onlooker and her dog. That is a very good boy. <laughs> There are some cars behind. They mostly have signs. So it looks like they're with the march and not uh, disturbed by it or having their route cut off by it. Sorry about that, an Amber Alert caused that brief pause.
We have entered the Cedars neighborhood just south of downtown Dallas. We're approaching Dallas Police Headquarters. Kind of a roundabout route. Stop sign. Slight incline, which is always not welcome. <laughs> Muckers. It needs to be said just how hot it is out here and how difficult it is to breathe in a mask. What? I'm just saying it's hot, it's hot out here and tough to breathe. All right, they're gathering here before moving on. They're really just going to be doing a march by, it seems like. Gonna take a quick water break. There's an impressive group considering how quickly they came together. So Shima is spreading the word about just kind of the march by. We will uh, make that decision on the call if we stick with this group or check out the other one. So 
I think it is important to note that this group actively does not want to be associated with the other one. So we are seeing some fracturing amongst the protests in the activist community. This other group really isn't even acknowledging the arrival of this one. Briefly look at this. This is a more performance oriented, someone is singing. These medics are providing water to this group. And the media is turning <laughs> this other one. It looks like some people are even leaving this group to come with another. Media and some stragglers. Hey man, I'm with centraltrack.com. I'm live right now. I heard you complaining about that. What did you think of that? Well, they're out there having a celebration. Why don't they use their speakers to tell us what they're going to do to our community to change it? Yeah. Instead of having a block party, this ain't no time to party. Yeah. This is time for change. This is time for us to run our government and stop all the corruption. Cool. Thanks. That's what it's time for. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a quick minute breather, and then they're going to go back to City Hall. Taking a water break, handing out water, taking a pop in a squat, taking a breather. Can I see your shirt? Love it. Thank you.
Were you guys at the event over there? We started in the park with y'all, came over okay. earlier. Okay. And then we're there where you guys came in and well, walked up. Do you mind if I put you on camera? I'm live streaming right now. What, uh, I mean, we got as we walked by a sense of like kind of surprised by that group. What was your sense being in the crowd? It was, uh, it was definitely a surprise to the folks in the group. They didn't seem to know how to respond and they <laughs> just kind of stuck to the script and said, all right, we're just going to pretend that's not happening. What were they doing over there? I heard a song being performed. Yeah, they had really just started uh, okay. maybe three minutes. It's before. worth noting that that one was planned as a George Floyd Memorial and this is a march. Yeah. So kind of different goals. Well, that was the, the conversation that the three of us had before joining back with this group, which we were with yesterday, was there's a difference between an event and a movement. Yeah. And we wanted to be a part of the movement. Is there anything either of you would like to add? Is there anything you would like to add to what he was saying? About the difference between this and that organization? Yeah, I think it's great to be able to pay your respects, but I think that the change is happening here. I think that... Okay. For All right. Well, thank you guys. Looks like they're back on the move. What's interesting and the difference now is that hydration station truck is now taking the lead. Or Tupac, which I'm worried about might cut us off. But here comes Tupac. Walk with us. Walk with us. They're now chanting, "Walk with us." March with us. Up at DPD HQ, checking out the activity. group is actively trying to get this group to fracture off and join. So it looks like the size has grown at this uh, pe people have joined this group from the other one, which was kind of absolutely the intent. They're now singing or chanting, fuck Trump.
The helicopter is followed along. Car has been turned around. Oh, okay. Now there's a new megaphone, a real megaphone. Excuse me, ladies. I'm live streaming right now. Can I talk to you on camera? Because it looks like you were headed to DPD and then joined this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. Can, can you, you saw that. Yeah. Can you tell me why you joined this as opposed to going there? I'm, I'm glad you asked yeah. because this is real right here. Right over there, they pacifying things right now. Want to make everything look all nice and sweet and they still doing the same shit out here. So back here, this right here, this makes them uncomfortable. Yeah. Although we doing it in a peaceful manner. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. This is who we're with, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. Abolish the police. A-C-A-B, abolish the police. A-C-A-B, abolish the police. Trying to get in the shade a little bit here. Are you pleased with the way the crowd has grown? Is that exactly what you're hoping for? Yes. <laughs> I know these ladies said they didn't like what was happening over there. They said it was too pacifying. Black yeah. lives matter, blue lives murder. Black 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 lives matter, blue lives matter. No justice, no peace. No racist, no peace. No justice, no peace. No racist, no peace. Say his name, George Floyd. Say his name, George Floyd. Say her name. Say by at least 50 percent, not doubled. So, as you heard, yeah, this was the intent to walk past the other demonstration, which this group sees as. Uh, And that's saying they can't breathe. They can't breathe. They can't breathe. They can't breathe. Looks like these people are going to join in. They can't breathe. There's a car that can't turn on to Lamar. That right there is a popular sign. Sex is cool, but have you ever fucked the system? This sign here is asking to defund the police. Chat, crowd now chanting, fuck 12. And as it passes, back over 30 towards the K Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center. On Lamar. <laughs> what is he saying? I think he said Blue Lives Matter and no one replied. We have a little bit of a stop down of cars trying to exit 30 as the march proceeds past. Taking a little bit of a breather. A little honking support from the exit ramp. I think they're gonna.
little honking of support. A good, that'll give you a good sense of the scope of this crowd. I think, I'd say it's at 200 now. And mercifully, the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convener, K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center is providing some shade. Oof. I cannot stress enough how hot it is out here. It's hot out here. <laughs> yeah, I'd say we're about 200 people thus far, which is significantly more than the 50 that it started with back at City Hall. I think it's the front of the train of the march is tiring some, the back is picking up the energy. We've got a ticket sign, fix the shit rich. Crowds are now on either side of the street. really something beautiful about the way these chants echo off in tunnels and overpasses. It was a good try, man. Uh, the group is gathering here at Memorial and Lamar under the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center.
shot. A police presence. Hurry up, let's get moving. Full street city. Our street. Full street city. Our street. Full street city. Our street. Full street. 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 Father and daughter in a stroller. Defund DPD! Defund DPD! Defund DPD! Defund DPD! Defund DPD! This is a chant that we've been hearing more and more as the week has gone on as the message coalesced some and crystallized. It's now defund DPD. Vote them out! And now vote them out. I mean, you, like, things have been pretty peaceful since Monday. Sure, yeah. Uh, is that what you're kind of resting on there? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty peaceful. Obviously, it's something that has to concern us. There, there's been a couple of times that we haven't taken her. That's like she's trying to get attention. I'm going to leave you alone. Thank you. Fuck Donald Trump! 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 So, I don't know if, if you guys could hear. So, he was just saying, yeah, he, uh, he isn't concerned. He's, he wants his daughter to see this. The crowd is now chanting, without that badge, you a bitch and a half. Young in the mark. This has happened 
a block away, the crowd is now circling around the intersection at Young and Lamar. All right, this is a pretty good indicator of the size of the crowd. <laughs> For this group right here, it's an open mic. Whatever y'all want to say, whatever y'all want us to chant, whatever y'all want to talk about, it's it's open floor. It's literally open floor. Whatever beliefs y'all have that y'all want to discuss, we're not here to judge at all. We're not here to, to get angry at you for whatever you believe in. It's here. So my goal for my personal goal for today is to have everyone by the end of the end of this program. group is really taking like an open mic, borderline occupy type mentality. He said fuck the police training bullshit. Fuck police unions. is saying it's taking her longer to be a licensed cosmetologist than it takes people to be police.
More training, more accountability. We're coming up. First protest, and we got applause. Our lives do matter. Everybody's lives matter, but this is an issue that we need to solve right now and not later. And I feel like everybody that's coming out right now is speaking up for this shit. We at the intersection of Young like and Lamar. We have purpose. We have purpose. Yeah. If you're not speaking up for this shit, then you don't got purpose. Yeah. And I'm sick and tired of this shit. Stop that shit. Traffic stopped along the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired of pretending that this shit don't matter when it does. Right, right. They killing our people. And we are too. And we need to fix this right now. This is a problem with all of us. And we have to start here. Keep it moving forward. Cars are because stopped to turn don't. around. Then we'll all fail.
This is the right side of history. Are we supporting black businesses like we should? Let's get better. Let's get better supporting black businesses. Let's get better at local government. Guess what? City council starting to do some shit? Let's get all of us on the police over We're not thrilled with the chief of police. Let's vote her out. Young and Lamar. This is our world now. Right. We control it. Yeah. This is control. This is our revolution. Do not stop here. Thank you, Chima, for getting all this set up. You're real. Yeah. That was the last speaker before the march keeps going. First of all, I just want to say, first and foremost, Black Lives Matter. Second of all, I want to say defund DPD. And third of all, I'm now talking to the non black people that are here, particularly the white people. Listen up, y'all. This is great that you're here. It's awesome that we're here. Don't pat yourself on the back, though, and don't let anybody else pat you on the back. Don't say you're welcome. Fuck that. Right. Okay? He's supposed to be here. 
Hey, Shima. All right, so this is a group. Okay, what you going with? about this young woman, Shima, here. It's very much a democratic group. Uh, they're kind of open mic. And I had him back to City Hall. We're heading back to City Hall now. Black Lives Matter! 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 I also received a news alert. Black Lives Matter! Shit, are you okay? No justice! No justice! No peace! 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 No
really interesting to point out how uh, smoothly this group has come together. Running out water. Hydration is very important. Democratic group. Can you describe some of those ideals? Well, yeah, basically we're just out here to support the, the cause of black people as a whole. Yeah. You know, we want to fight the system of oppression, to fight the system of systematic racism. We are against anything that those ideals stand for, the ideals of white supremacy, and that any personal, particular religion is supreme over another. Yeah. We are all for equality. We don't want black people to get any special treatment. We just want to be equal. I'm going to get a Gatorade from this. <laughs> Thank you. Can you, uh, why is it important that this group be separate from the other one? Um, I don't think it's necessarily important that we be separate, but we do want to make a statement in the fact that this group is not part of any political organization okay. or any certain type of brand name. We're just a collective group of individuals who all share the same ideas against racism and oppression, and we want to make sure that that individuality is something that is accentuated, not necessarily the name of any single organization or anything of, of that nature. Sure. We just want to accent the, the individuality of each personal protest that is out here and make sure that all of them know your views matter just as much as ours. And it seems like since initially leaving City Hall earlier, this group has grown. How, yes. how, how much would you say it's grown? Is it yes, doubled? I would say, I would say it's at least more, at least doubled or tripled. So we're very proud to see. Yeah, we're very proud to see. You know how much this group has grown, and this is not the first time that's happened. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, we, it's the organicness that causes people to drive to it. So earlier this week, thank you for your time, man. What was it again? Bernard. And where where you, where do you stay? I live right here in Dallas, born and raised. What part of town? Uh, okay. hey, That's your hood. Yeah, I represent one of the minority <laughs> communities that we are fighting for out here, so I definitely yeah. must be here. All right, man. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So earlier this week, last weekend, there's a lot of graffiti up here. The city's already taken it down with the quickness. You can see some uh, residual of that. So I did receive a news tip earlier that there are going to be some artists painting the word Black Lives Matter onto the plaza. So we're going to go check that out. There's a chopper above. Back at City Hall. Looks like the water and supplies are still in place, to a degree.
We're gonna go check on that group up on Marilla. See what they're up to. So we're just kind of hanging out here for a minute, catching their breath. We're going to see the scene over here. Yeah, looks like that's what's happening. They're chalking the outline of the letters to say Black Lives Matter here on 1500 Marilla. They're chalking out the outlines now. See if we can find someone who can talk about what's going on here. Are you guys involved in this? I'm sorry. Are you guys involved in this? Yes. Can I, I'm with centraltrack.com or live right now. Can I ask you a couple questions on camera about it? Uh, sure. I mean, I, I know what's happening. I got a yeah. tip. Uh, can you tell me what's happening? Uh, we are putting Black Lives Matter it's really big right here in front of Dallas City Hall. Are you guys, do you guys mind if I put you on camera? So it looks like you're spacing out the letters now right uh we saw this happen in dc earlier in the week right we're all losing track of days <laughs> but uh why is it important to put that here um i think it's in a really strong message sorry the um, airplane speak yeah, up a little if you don't mind it's in a really strong message i mean it pretty much lets city hall know that this isn't going away and that we're not done we're not stopping yeah it's been 14 days so far yeah. 13 days so far Got yeah yeah, not slowing down as long as we can. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Is there anyone here who is like in charge who I should talk to? I haven't found them. Head, head back that way. Just that, that <laughs> Somewhere over okay. There. That's Councilman Basil Dua. Is it is it going in chalk? Do you guys know or what? Is it going in chalk or paint or what? Okay. Sure. All right. You can see the chalk outlines. Councilman Medrano. Councilman Medrano. Pete with Central Track. Can I talk to you real quick? Can I follow? Can we walk and talk? <laughs> no? All right, he said no. I got you. Right, I'll check out the supplies. But yeah, they're spacing it out right now. Guys. So yeah, okay, this answers the question. This is paint. The rollers. So this will say Black Lives Matter. Let's go tell the other group. Let them know what's happening. So, also significant, there's usually water here. The city is taking it down. Let's, let's go uh, talk to the councilman. Thanks, guys. No, I, just, I mean, who, who is it? I asked where she was. Do you know her name? Destiny. Stephanie? Uh, Destiny. Destiny, Smith. okay.
Excuse me, I'm looking for Destiny. Hi. Are you Destiny? Hi, I'm Pete Friedman with Central Track. Hi. We've been live streaming the protests awesome. all, all 11 awesome. days now. Can can I put you on camera and tell you and you yeah, tell me what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. Can you identify so, yourself? My name is Destiny Smith. And you're an artist or? No, I'm just a regular citizen, regular mom. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> regular, regular mom. Regular resident. That, From in Dallas? Yeah, I am. And I'm, I'm extremely concerned with the violence and how polarizing the response is, right? Yeah. If this was civilians acting against civilians, then there would be complete outrage. Yeah. But when it's police acting against citizens and civilians, then we're asking for a bit of patience. We're asking for a bit of understanding, allow yeah. the system to do its job. And enough is enough. So what are you doing here today? Today we are going to remind, <laughs> right, tonight, thank God for, for nightfall. It's a, little, it's a lot cooler, hot. yeah, it was hotter. <laughs> it hot. We were marching. So, um, our Dallas city officials' offices yeah. will overlook this and, there, and there's some city councilmen over there. There are, there are. Did you get, I mean, did you get approval or anything like this? Or? Um, what we wanted to do is make sure that we didn't have any more nights of arrests. Okay. So we did reach out and we asked for the respect of our First Amendment right. Who did you reach out to? Um, we spoke with council member Chad West. In okay. District 1. And were they um, and we had receptive? Support. There was some support okay. from council Great. members. It's not unanimous. Okay. Um, we didn't expect for it to be, nor did we need it to be. Um, okay. We are exercising our free right. Um, and I'm, I'm appreciative of the space to do so. Right? Yeah. So, so um, we're going to have... I saw black... there's paint over there. Absolutely. Right? Is that permanent it tempor like it temp is going to be a temporary paint and okay. here is why um there's a very concerning piece of this when it came time to remove something that was permanent or semi-permanent okay um, a solvent would be necessary power washing would be yep. necessary and i do not want to see the imagery of someone having to pressure wash away black lives oh right? yeah <laughs> optics that that, you know yeah. you don't want the person who never knew what yeah. this was to look up one day and you just see the blurb saying black lives matter removed from city hall yeah that's not going to land well so right. we don't want this to have to be a permanent conversation to have that we're permanently having to say my black life matters yeah. i shouldn't have to say that to you every day we shouldn't have to chant up and down the streets of Dallas and Fort Worth and the sub-cities to get that message across. And where we appreciate this moment and having this here, this is just a, a reminder to our city officials that it will look you in the face every time you, you turn your head that we want reform, um, and more than reform, we want to uh, reallocate funds from Dallas Police Department back into the community. We want to see that money go into our education system. We want to see that money go into our health system for the black community. We want to stop criminalizing blacks. We want to make sure that there is an equal justice for all. So, How many people do you have helping you out tonight and how did you go about recruiting we them? We went with a couple of shifts. Um, there's an 8 to 10 and 10 to midnight. Okay, so you think it'll take until at least midnight, right? It's got, it's, yeah, it's massive. This is 600 plus feet. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, so, yeah, wow. Yeah, this is this is massive. And, why, why, uh, and doing it here, again, because this is the seat of city government. Absolutely, but when you think of protests, and if you look far into the distance, there's some protesters down there that were just marching. Yeah, that's, we, we were following them. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, so with that, most protests have even either started or end it here at City Yeah, this Hall. has been a very big kind right. of Right, so gathering I think it's point. important. There's something that resonates when you're walking over what you are um, fighting for. Sure. I'm fighting for you to understand that my black lives matter. And when we meet here and we're chanting and supporting one another and the allies of the community are here and we're all fighting for change, it's important to be able to see that. This and, is and the plan And the plan is it'll stretch the entirety of this Marilla it block? It will. That's 600 plus feet in length. So it's long and narrow, about yeah. 48 feet. So uh, 48 that, so feet by 600 feet. Yeah, it's massive. Well, that's that, a lot of paint. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> How'd you get the paint? paint? Do you guys, like, did people help that's donate it? Paint. Or? There was an anonymous donor. Oh, great. Um, and they said, hey, we, we understand that there is uh, something very, very wrong that's going on in the country. And uh, there's a bit of 
privilege that needs to be acknowledged and we're not fearful of saying that it's a white privilege sure that that shouldn't be something if we don't run from criminalizing black men and women we can't run away away from acknowledging white privilege absolutely and in this moment we have the opportunity to come out and have someone say we want to support you being able to express what you're feeling to City Hall. Yeah. So maybe you weren't out here the last time we chanted. Next time you're in your office, you'll see it though. <laughs> so that was the overall goal here. And that anonymous donor, um, we're going to respect their wish sure. to remain but, anonymous. Okay, but do you know how much money was put into paint? You know, I asked not to know. Okay, <laughs> but it's a I lot, right? I don't want to know um, because we have not only paint, but there's tape. Um, if you want to pan over, they're currently taping. Yeah right now the lines to make sure that this thing remains uh, straight and that the aerial doesn't look like my four-year-old did. Yeah, how, so how are you doing that? Like, so, is it just, um, just taping so it off? artist, J.D. Moore, um, gritted this bad boy out. Okay. You'll notice the, the lines that are going yep. the length of the plaza. We'll place the tape down and then we'll go back probably closer to the 10 o'clock hour and get this thing painted down. Okay. Um, and whenever it rains, it's going to wash away. So we want to be very clear. What is the rain forecast? Nothing in the next eight days. So, <laughs> so um, uh, I, lo I love the, the excitement yeah, with what you said. Yeah, nothing that. in the next eight days. Thanks, Mom. My mom said she saw rain today. Now, I never saw it come out of the sky, but we wanted to make sure that we didn't uh, chance it. So. so, okay, do you know how many people in total are working on this with you today? We expect to have somewhere in the hundred range. If people um, are watching, because we're live right now and they want to come out, are they welcome to join? And so here, so we're, we're not going to tell you not to come. What we ask that you remember if you come out is that this is a um, this is a very meticulous process. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're not just going to come out right yeah, now and slap we, paint down, yeah, right? Yeah, you're not just going to walk up and grab a, a, a brush and start. Okay. We have a limited number of rollers but um, limited number of rolls of tape, <laughs> yeah. but you know, support, grabbing water, taking water to people that you see getting dehydrated, switching out. We're certainly not going to say that you cannot come out. Um, we encourage you to come out if you just want to see it go down. We ask if anything, you come from- Do you want support? Do you want yeah. people, you want spectators? Yeah, you're, you're welcome to come and spectate. We just ask that you let this remain um, a peaceful show of, of support for Black Lives Matter. We do not want anyone to come out and distract from what's going down. Okay. Um, because this is a lot of work. This is a lot of time, a lot of man hours. So you're not looking point. for people to chant necessarily or anything oh, like that? Can yeah. come and do, no, who am I to say, no, I'm exercising my free But you just want them staying out of the way of, yeah, of the work. Yeah, just stay off the plaza, gotcha, gotcha. stay out of the way. Um, remain respectful that we are dealing with um, we're a very sensitive project. Yeah. So, you know, right now, yes, things are getting more unified and where we appreciate that, we don't want to distract from the message at hand. Well, which... I think it's an impressive undertaking, uh, uh, just objectively, to, to, to write something that large. Thank and you. Uh, I wish you luck. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you for taking the time, Destiny. Absolutely. Let me give you a sticker. Thank so, you. Yeah, so uh, we can look this up. Yeah. You gonna save your life? I'll have to go back and watch it. Yeah, no, for sure. We've been saving them all. Them all. Awesome. Awesome. We've got awesome. like, so many ridiculous hours number of footage yeah, this week. Sure. Here you go. You're awesome. Thank you, Dustin. Best to you. All right, I'm going to set up over here for just a half second, uh, get my charger in order, and go from there. The group that we were with earlier is now blocking off the high, the, uh, not highway, uh, that intersection over there. I don't think they're really aware of what's happening here. Let's, uh, Sit down for one second, and I'm gonna get my chargers in order. Bear with me one second, y'all.
All right, it looks like we lost the marching group. So I think I'm gonna stick here for a minute. Just check out this process. Got a drone and a chopper. I believe right now, at the same time on our Instagram feed, there is a uh, conversation going on with editor Alex Spicer of Central Track and also uh, mayoral candidate Miguel Solis, who wrote a pretty scathing column uh, bemoaning city leadership right now and their lack of action. So if you want to take a break from that, you're welcome to go check or from this, you want to check that out, by all means. Uh, both of these will be saved and shown at a later date, or saved to be watched at a later date. Um, yeah, I think we lost the marchers, but this is a pretty significant group. And we will be uh, watching these people and uh, seeing what happens. Looks like the charger is working, so that's great news. <laughs> Council members, I'm live right now. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your thoughts on what's happening here. Yeah, so uh, they're doing Black Lives Matter um, on the plaza. Uh, Better Block is... You just identify yourself. Oh, care. I'm Adam Basildua, um, and I am District, District 7 uh, council member. There's also Lee Kleinman, District 11, and Mayor Pro Tem Medrano, District 2. And Chad West is actually who has uh, I believe who's, he's who they, the, the, uh, the artist reached out to, I yeah, believe. Yeah, he's who's been spearheading this um, effort. And uh, we, we saw what they did in DC, and we think it's gonna be really cool to have done here. And uh, pretty soon, I also think that we're gonna have a, a pride uh, flag that we're gonna be able to um, put up there. And it's, Where, on, on those poles? Just keep, just, yeah. <laughs> did you not mean to say that I on mean, camera? I did not mean to say that. <laughs> Thanks, Councilman. Yep. But um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So by midnight, it's going to be done. All right. So this is a city council endorsed effort, which is interesting. We lost the march. We lost the march, and I apologize for that. Uh, but I think what's happening here is pretty important as well. As you can see, so this is the one of, uh, I'm just gonna turn the camera around here. Oh, hi. So yeah, this is one of uh, really three efforts we've seen tonight, right? There's uh, the gathering led by Next Generation Action Network at uh, TPD. There is the march, the kind of democratically organized march that is taken to the streets and going through uptown. And then uh, there is this artist effort. Councilman Kleinman, I'm with centraltrack.com. Can I ask you a couple questions? I'm sorry, let me pull up my mask. I'm with centraltrack.com. Uh, we, we're a media outlet. We've been covering Dallas for eight years now. I can give you a sticker. And you can look this up later. No, I, I've seen the, I've seen the, some oh. pieces of stuff. There you go. Here's a sticker. You don't want it? Uh, we, uh, what's going on here, in your words? Well, I think we're just making a statement here and showing the world what the city of Dallas stands on, on black lives. I think it's safe to say, from those who watch City Hall pretty closely, that you are among the more conservative members on the council. Uh, why is it important that you are here to endorse this message? Uh, because I'm a believer in the Constitution and I'm a believer in people's freedom of speech and right to assemble and, and pursuit of happiness. And if we're doing things that impair that for any community member, that's problematic. What are your sense, what's your sense of uh, the activity in the last 11 days now here in Dallas and the city's response to it? 
I, I think the activity level has been really good. I think it's bringing a high degree of awareness. What's really interesting is it's bringing awareness above and beyond just the city. Now we're seeing uh, marches and rallies in the suburbs who generally flee this type yeah. of activity. Yeah, yeah. I think that's been really interesting and very supportive. We even hear the governor who uh, is saying you know, how important it is for uh, people's rights. And I mean, I, I would say historically, the governor has been very supportive of the urbanized areas. That's been a, a real problem for us on the council, but he seems to have gotten the message as well. And, uh, and, it's, uh, and that's all really good. It's kind of unfortunate that it's taken this long to bring it to this level sure. of, of attention. I mean, we had our own situation right here in Dallas with recently with uh, both in Gene and that brought out a fair amount of activity, but it didn't get the overwhelming activity like we're getting now. Does that surprise you that that did not get the reaction? It, it kind of does. It kind of does. Do and you have I, any I, understanding as to why that might have happened? Um, you know, we got this this somehow a national movement. I don't know if it's just people's frustration. Sure. I don't know if it's people have. I mean, actually, I think people do have more time to think about becoming activated because, because of the, the COVID. Yeah. I mean, I had. Um, a uh, uh, woman I talked to earlier this week uh, who said to me, you know, I was in the food, I was in the service industry, I was working in a restaurant, I got laid off. She said, so now my job is to be an activist. I'm taking the time, I'm, I'm emailing council members, I'm talking to folks, I'm participating in marches. So maybe it's made that availability. I think also the COVID thing, um, interestingly enough, I think it's, having people kind of rethinking their priorities. Yeah. I mean, they spent three months not really with a lot of consumerism. Yeah. And they're kind of thinking, do I, you know, maybe I don't need to do all that. Would shopping. you say that's true of yourself as well? Oh, yeah. Your priorities have changed some? How so? Um, I mean, I just don't think I need to go to the store every day. You need to go to the store every day? Yeah, yeah. sure. You know, um, I, I think that uh, I, I become more inward focused. I've tried to think in terms of of what's important to me and my family. Uh -huh. um, it was important to me at the time, you know, in March, you know, I broke my dad out of the old folks home and uh -huh. I brought my daughter home from New York. Sure. Your family here? What? Your family's here tonight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and I, you know, and we spent three months in pretty confined yeah. circumstances, especially with my 90-year-old dad. Yeah. And we're like, okay, you know, you, everybody kind of learns to live together. Well, the pandemic is not over. You're coming out here. Your father is uh, yeah. in the uh, at-risk age. Very much so. So is, was there concern of coming out here well, with that? I mean, I probably would not be here tonight except he's moved to my brother's. Okay, gotcha. But quite honestly, I, I wouldn't. I just, I, matter of fact, just since this, these series of events started, these are the first time I've been to City Hall since February. Wow. Um, uh, I know today there was, uh, uh, there was a pretty long and at points contentious special meeting uh, a couple of days ago, and then today, you guys were again had a had a special meeting with Chief Hall, where she talked about some changes, that like uh, no chokeholds, announcing before shooting, things like that. Right. What actions do you think the city is going to enact on, on its own in terms of legislation? So I think uh, I, I'm I'm hoping we're going to look very seriously at um, at limiting the association unions activity and political activity limiting the union uh -huh. okay i think that's really key um there's a lot of money that goes into campaigns and a lot of endorsements go into campaigns sure. and then when it gets time that budget season you can't no one will look at anything it's all you're, you know you're all defunding the police which you're not doing you're just yeah. making allocation choices well that's okay that. so i know budgeting is coming up right uh one of the major rallying cries nationally and here. I mean, I was with a, I was following a march that went from here to DVD HQ and then back. And now they're, right. I think, heading to Uptown. Um, one of the frequent chants throughout is uh, defund DPD. Right. Is that an actual consideration on the table in your mind? No, not that broad stroke. I think what the consideration really is. is but to a degree, do you think that the I funding think can go down? The budget, yeah. I Historically over the years, Dallas, uh, like a lot of the commentary surrounding DPD has been that it, it lacks funding, that it doesn't have enough officers, that it can't afford to compete in terms of hiring. Does that, so these are uh, kind of, they're opposing notions, well, but is that, what, what does that if, if mean you to would, you? If you would follow what I've been saying in budget season for the last seven years, it's not that. 
Okay. It's, so then can you explain? Yes. So example, the argument that we don't have enough police. No, it's we don't have enough police in patrol. Every chief in the nation will tell you that the best way to get crime down in neighborhoods is to have police in patrol. When Chief Hall came on here, I think 60% of our department was in patrol, which meant 40% of our department was sitting behind the desk. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so it's not necessarily the right number, it's how you use them. It's using, you mean the, the, the funding number? Oh, the right. actual, the funding and the, the number of, of That's right. cops. In other words, if you, can, if you get more cops in patrol, you don't have to hire those cops. Yeah. If you can take cops out of desk jobs, yeah. if you can take, I mean, we have 14 cops that are, uh, that are full-time recruiters. Sure. They travel around the country looking for other cops. Sure. Like more people like they are. Yeah. Well, why don't we put those 14 cops in patrol and hire an HR company that's designed to recruit people that fit what we're trying to accomplish? Sure. You know, what, another another thing that has been uh, repeated throughout the chance is uh, training reform. Do you have any thoughts on that? Oh, do I ever <laughs> close the academy? Okay, twenty five million dollars we spend on that, and all they do is what is the total of you, uh, Dallas budget on police right now? Uh, about eight hundred million. Eight hundred million. Yes, I've seen five hundred oh, oh, million. I'm sorry, public safety. So that includes fire. That's okay, right. so five hundred at police. Five hundred police, about three hundred on. on uh, I think one thing that I have seen firsthand is just how militarized the police is. I've seen SWAT, like insane SWAT trucks, right. crazy riot gear. Right. Uh, is that something and that... You're editorializing and say insane SWAT trucks. Okay, crazy sure. Riot gear. But yes, you're I right. think it's objectively insane. I think so too. Uh, but, so, yeah, so, but that said, so, I mean, is it so, safe to say that, that some of the funding will be diverted away from some of that? I, I sure hope if so. You, in, is that your hope? Yeah, I mean, I don't see any reason... Let's take, for example, a, a paramilitary rifle, an AR-15. Sure. Um, why should our police department even have those? Yeah. If, if things, if it's We're that, talking long guns, right? Yeah. Yes. If it's that bad here, then that's when you do call the National Guard. Now, is that now the counter argument, I think, just to play devil's advocate, would be if you look at a night like 7 7 the cops would say they needed that kind of arsenal that night. For one shooter? I think they'd say that. The crowd didn't, it wasn't like the crowd unloaded on sure. the cops. I mean, sure. they had one rogue shooter. I mean, it was a bad situation. There's no question. But you know what? Right after that, all of a sudden, we funded, like, all this protective gear. Yeah. Really? I don't know how much you know about yeah. ballistics, but the stuff we bought didn't get protection from that kind of shooter. Right. A high-power rifle like that. What is... So, I think another thing that people are learning, or I think that people were in generally appalled at, was some of the decorum between City Hall the other night. Do you have any, uh, any thoughts on that? Is that... Is, uh, I, I think it's safe to say that that is probably not par for course. These have been long meetings, but right. what, what went down the other night with some of that screaming and back and forth, uh, particularly between some council members and also between the mayor and the city manager? Uh, just a perception of the need for power and control and an argument over that mm -hmm. in the midst of all this. Do you think that, what are your thoughts on that? I'll reserve. Okay. I think your eyes are saying some of it. But uh, thank you, Councilman. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. It looks like we fully lost the other march. Uh, but we're going to hang out here and check this out, which I think is a pretty cool thing. You know, I talk to you guys, but I don't talk to the uh, 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 scorecard. Scorecard? The Texas scorecard. Oh, uh, okay. That's the Empowered Texas. Sure. I mean, well, we're, you know, we're the voice of the youth. Well, you guys are the full extended of the spectrum. I suppose, yeah. Well, thank you, Cousin. Mayor Pro Tem, you're, you're, I, I haven't talked to you yet. Can I get you on camera? Tell me a little bit about what's going on here tonight and uh, what your thoughts are on it. Oh, we're there. This is Mayor Pro Tem Madrano, who represents District... Two. Two. The best district. The best district, okay. Everybody says it's not, but... Can you just speak up a little with the um, chopper noise? And my math. Yeah, exactly. No, the community is out here. They're going to paint uh, Black Lives Matter across the plaza here at City Hall, uh, similar to what they did in D.C. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to come out and be a part of it. I think it's going to be great. And uh, we're going to get to work. So. Are you going to be laying down paint? Yeah, we're going to do paint. And you I yourself? Yeah. Okay. I, I think that, that I'm not good at, at the tape because I might be crooked. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely going to come be painting and, and helping out. So given that you do represent District True, there's been a lot of attention given uh, some of the property damage that happened in downtown in Deep Ellum, uh, particularly last Friday and Saturday nights. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Have you spoken to the business owners down there? And what is the sense that you've gotten from them? 
Yeah, no, I was actually out Saturday night, and so I saw it happening uh, with my own eyes. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, the next day, you know, Deep Ellum is a community, we're a family, and we got together and we started cleaning up and uh, repairing windows. Uh, we even had the Mavericks and Dirk Nowitzki out yeah, there. Yeah, that was we saw that. So, yeah, we, uh, we, yeah, we, we definitely we, we saw came that. together and uh, we understand the people's frustration they're upset at this time and so we just uh, came together as, as a community in each downtown farmers market and, and, and cleaned up and are, uh, repaired the windows and, and keep on moving forward and it's glad to see that it's a lot more peaceful now and I, I think that's how it is going to be going forward uh, I think I we've think seen we're going to stop marching until we see change and I'm committed to that what change do you hope to see in an act so I think that we're going to see um, some money taken from DPD and put into uh, community programs, which like uh, what? Uh, housing, homelessness, different different sure. uh, uh, recreation, different things like that. So definitely, I'm looking forward to working on that with the community involvement. Do you think there's a uh, consensus among city council that that's the play? I do. Yeah, I really do. I, I haven't heard different. You think that you think it's unanimous? Uh, not totally unanimous, but close. Okay. Uh, I was just talking to Councilman Kleinman uh, about this. I think. Uh, City Council got a lot of attention over the weekend for uh, some of the uh, video that leaked from, not leaked, but uh, came out of the uh, almost nine hour special meeting. Uh, what is your reaction to the way things went down towards the end of that meeting? Oh, I think that um, uh, we need to be together and it showed a little bit of, of, uh, of friction between several council members. I mean, it, it, it we're people. Everybody has their opinion. Everybody has uh, their way of they want to, the way they want to try to lead. Yeah. And like I said, every night I've been in these protests. Yeah. Every night I've been, uh, I saw the, the 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 violence and I saw the destruction of Deep Ellum, Victory Park. I was there. I wanted to be there firsthand. Yeah. As a leader, I believe you should be there firsthand. Uh, and I was at the bridge as well. And so, um, you know, everybody has their version of what could have happened, what we should have done. You know what, we need to move forward. Okay. We need to be together. And uh, I think we're gonna get there, you know. What, uh, you know, I think you, you hit the nail on the head just now when you said people are gonna keep marching until there is change. I know there's some budget meetings coming up uh, where some of the things like uh, defunding DVD and whatnot are, are on the table. Uh, but yeah, these people are gonna keep marching until then. Is there any expedition that can be done in that process? And how, how quickly do you see it being enacted? So we don't adopt the budget until September. Okay. And so we have that that much time until uh, September to decide on how we want. Can't there be a res the resolution passed in the meantime to announce that? Well, well there, something might happen tomorrow, so you got to pay attention tomorrow. <laughs> do you think? Are you telling me <laughs> to pay attention tomorrow? Yeah, pay attention tomorrow. Uh, what is well, the, like what, say, what's happening tomorrow? There's a special meeting tomorrow. There's something going to happen tomorrow. So I get what, what time? Uh, noon. Okay. Thank you, Councilman. Yeah. All right, you heard it here first. Something's happening tomorrow. That's really interesting. So we got a couple of interesting, I think, accidental scoops just now. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Medrano, council member representing District 2, the fighting District 2, uh, told us that there will be some sort of announcement tomorrow from city council. Uh, Councilman Bazaldua said he expects that a pride flag will be joining these flags in the coming, I don't know, future at some point. Sounds like we've got some marchers approaching. Let's see if that's the same group we saw before. What's up, man? I'm all right. So this, I can't tell if this is an entirely new group. I don't think this group is at all aware. Right? Alpha 
I'm Pete Freeman with CentralTrack.com. We've interviewed you before about the situation on 77. Yeah. Uh, when you got, uh, was it was it your brother or was it you? Yeah, yeah. It was you. Me and my brother. You and your brother, uh, uh, who got in trouble for open carrying at that. Yeah. You're out here. You haven't been scared away. No, man. No. Where is this? The group from uh, DPDHQ? Yeah. Okay. So this is with the Next Generation Action Network. Yes, sir. Where are they headed? Are you? Aware, are, is this group at all aware of what's happening here right now? I think they are. They're painting the words "Black Lives Matter." Yeah, I'm with this group over here. Okay, thank you, Corey. Uh, so Corey, it was it was your brother Mark Hughes, right? Mark Hughes, yeah. yeah. So that was Corey. That's Corey Hughes. His brother Mark Hughes was who uh, DPD wrongly fingered at first. So this is a larger group than the other fractured group. Hey, Adam, is uh, is Councilman West here? Okay, thank you. Now that you know what's happening here, you know what's happening here? We're painting the words Black Lives Matter. How's it going? How are you guys doing? Hi, I'm Pete with Central Track. I'm good, how are you? So this is the group that was at DPD earlier, that the other group we were following along marched past. So all roads lead to City Hall. <laughs> Let's go inside, see what's happening here. March that was walking past that other demonstration earlier. Did you notice that? Were you aware of it? I don't, I don't know what they were okay. or whatever and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, we, of course, there were several different marches today, and of course, I know that there were people that were doing it right before sure. us, so we're all together demanding justice. You know? Great. Are you aware of what's happening on City Hall right now? Yes, I am. I just wanted them to announce it. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right, I'm thanks, Dominique. I, I didn't want to take that thought. <laughs> I wanted them to scream. All right. Right, that is Destiny Smith, who's going to announce the crowd what's happening in front of City Hall. Money back into 
our health system, that we put that money back into our education system. Look at the turnout tonight. It's really good, man. Yeah. You know, one thing about protesting is not easy. Yeah. Right. We, as a country, have been protesting now, I believe, for 10 days straight, maybe 11 days. It's 11 days in Dallas, and it's like 15 across yeah. the country. And so, uh, you know, in, in recent history, if we protested this long, by, by now it would be 10 people. Yeah. You know, but I think, uh, you know, the world watching George Floyd be murdered, it touched people from a moral perspective, mental, emotional, and spiritual. I think on a spiritual level, it touched America. Yeah. And so I think, um, the reason you see such passion is that for years we've been conditioned to ignore it. Well, no, you can no longer ignore this. And so uh, we go keep going until we get changed. All right, thanks, Corey. Okay. There's no more therapy. There's no more hands on We are no longer begging for our lives. They do not care. If they saw us, they can people. If they saw us, they come on and they can care for us. We would have no reason to say that. So there's no longer time for us to be begging have a heart for us. They do not care, love, or need, feel like they even need us. So there are no reasons for us to be hands up and they don't shoot. Because guess what? When they hands up and they still shoot. And then they reach down, they reload, they flip and they shoot. Me. So there's no reason for us to be begging for these people. Because they do not care. 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 They do Please rest easy. But for those of you who are really angry, for those of you who really 
really won't change. But those of you who are sick and tired. God is letting the ambulance through. That's a real toy. That's a real toy. And it would be justified. Okay, so back to what I was saying, okay? We was quiet, but we talking. <laughs> nah, seriously though, y'all, we laugh, we joke, and we do need to love each other. But I want you guys to remember a few things. And I beg someone who does not see you as a person State of Emergency on Saturday at 1 p.m., June 13th, and I don't understand why at Rivershawn Park. One. Black Lives Matter. Oh, uh, did you? Okay, sorry. Hey, sorry, I haven't gotten the video up yet. It's not going on. I'll be up soon. Have fun. Excuse me. We got a dog and some water. Well-behaved women. Sell to make it. Thanks, guys. All right, this group is headed back to DPD HQ. Let's check in again over here at the progress on the art project. Seven. So, for those who might be new, we are in front of Dallas City Hall, where our Artist activists are taping off a 600 foot stretch of Marilla, Marilla Street, Marilla Avenue, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and they will be writing the words in uh, temporary paint, in paint, 
um, to say Black Lives Matter, which is something that the Omni Hotel actually refused to put on its facade. So there's a significant number of people here now assisting in the cause. We've got the paint out. And they are kind of gridding off Marilla. You can hear the uh, cheers of the march behind us as it walks back towards uh, walks back towards City Hall, or excuse me, towards uh, DPD HQ. I think we might sign off for now and uh, make sure we got some photographers out here to document this. Uh, but yeah, these protests are not stopping. Um, we got teased a little bit by Mayor Pro Tem Medrano, but there should be an announcement tomorrow at noon about funding the police. So we look forward to that. And uh, let's see. I am uh, Pete Freeman with CentralTrack.com. If you support this coverage and would like to see more of it, please visit patreon.com slash centraltrack or centraltrack.com slash help. And we thank you guys for watching. We will be out here as long as it takes. Thanks, guys.